everyone, me again, welcome back to X Amelia X. So I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful, magical Christmas. I certainly did, it's been amazing. Um, and I've been really enjoying looking at everybody else's videos on YouTube, talking about what Santa bought them for Christmas. So I asked on Twitter early today if you guys wanted to see one from me, and you said yes. So here I am, in front of the Christmas tree for the last time this year, to show you all the presents that I got from Santa this year. So I guess my main present, um, and one that I'm incredibly grateful for, is uh, from my mum and dad who got me an iPad 2. I can't believe it, I've wanted an iPad for so long, um, and they've completely spoiled me. It's beautiful and it's going to be really, really useful for my blogging stuff. I'll be able to pop it in videos and show things on there. It's just, it's wonderful. And the boyfriend also surprised me with a little fancy Apple case. He was in on it with them, they, um, he knew that I was getting this iPad and he managed to keep it quiet for about a month. So kudos to you Joseph because I would not have been able to keep that if that was me. Um, but yeah, it was such a lovely surprise and I'm so grateful, so yay, you'll probably be seeing this in a lot more videos from now on. They also got me lots of other little bits and bobs as well, typical parent stocking fillers like um, pants and socks and thermal tights, um, a lovely scarf actually from Marks and Spencer's, mum loves to shop there so I'm pretty sure that's where it's from, it's really cool actually, I like that, nice and abstract, and a Radley purse as well, which I was not expecting but it's beautiful, my purse is lovely but it's um, white, or like a creamy colour, and it's gone absolutely disgusting so I really do need to replace it so I can now move into my lovely red festive Radley purse so absolutely spoiled by the parents this year um but yeah lots of lovely useful gifts so thank you mummy and daddy the boyfriend's parents also spoiled me as well they got me um a lovely bottle of um french white wine which was gorgeous i'm afraid i can't show you because i may have accidentally drunk it already um but they got me this lovely scarf i have a scarf theme running on i got four scarves for christmas so uh keep watching to see the rest of those um but this is lovely i think it's from accessorize it's kind of like this lovely uh, beige, orangey brown colour. It's a, it's a, it's an odd shade of brown, but it's beautiful. And um, with that, this tribal uh, black Aztec print on there, I love it. And it's really soft as well. You can tell it's good quality. I, I often buy a lot of my scarves from Primark, and they're only about four quid. Um, but you can tell a good quality scarf. And same with the Marks and Spencer's one. They're just really nice to receive a, a nice, good quality one for Christmas. So I love that. And they also got me some jewellery as well. So absolutely spoiled by them. And from my BFF, I got an adorable mug that says, Mmm, you can't beat a nice cup of champagne. With a little mini bottle of champagne in there. So, thank you very much, Beth J. Reed. You know me very well. And uh, she also got me a lovely, or she made me a little bunch of white roses that were so, so cute. And they lasted for ages. So, thanks, Beef. Love you. I also got an obscene amount of chocolate, as I'm sure everybody else did as well. Um, selection boxes were definitely the, the thing of the year, as are chocolate coins and, of course, the obligatory box of chocolate Cadbury's roses. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to be eating this still by the time my birthday comes round in May, um, but I'm very, very grateful for this. And, of course, because you got it for Christmas, the calories don't count, so it's magic. My auntie bought me an absolutely adorable present as well. I have had a, um, a leather strap Pandora bracelet for quite a while that I haven't had anything on because I've got a double a double one that I have all my Love Links beads on but I haven't had anything to put on the leather one and she bought me this beautiful beautiful charm I'll see if I can zoom in for you it's um, a little SLR camera so it kind of like symbolizes my blog and it's so cute and I love it and it's it's perfect so I'm going to be popping this on my um, leather Pandora bracelet and I might maybe put two wooden beads either side of it um, but it's such a thoughtful present and every single year she surprises me and gets me a really really thoughtful present so yeah that's lovely and I really like that I'm finding my lovely boyfriend Joe, he completely spoiled me as well. Um, he got me this lovely scarf that I've been banging on about for ages. You might remember this scarf from a haul video I did not so long ago. It's from a company called Poor Madame and I got a lovely teal coloured one. Um, and it's got foxes on it and it's adorable and I wear it to death. So I've been banging on about the grey version for so so long. Um, and he remembered and he bought me that and he also got me this one as well. Which is kind of like a aubergine grey colour with giraffes on it and they're really cute so they are the four scarves that I got for Christmas but I love that because it's such a thoughtful gift I it's kind of something it's just a little silly gift but it's something that you obviously remembered and that's cute 
He also got me um, my favourite perfume which is Nina by Nina Ritchie. I absolutely love this and I've literally just run out as well so that is a godsend. So thank you very much for that one Joseph, but I can't wait to use it. Another really thoughtful present is this tartan scarf. Again it's a silly one but it's something that I said that I wanted and I remembered and bought it. Um, it's this midi, midi length tartan skirt from Boohoo and I absolutely love it and I'm going to wear that on, um, we're going away for New Year so I'm going to wear that for New Year and I really can't wait to try it on. And he obviously he knows me very well as well because I got a giant bottle of Lanson with a Santa jacket on. Um, there is only one thing better than a bottle of champagne for me and that's a bottle of champagne that's dressed up for Christmas. Um, so yeah, this the problem is this is too cute to drink. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna have, what I'm gonna do with this. I might just sort of cuddle it until next Christmas and then think about opening it and not sharing it with anybody because it's too cute. He has been so thoughtful this year. Every single, uh, I forgot some of the things that he actually bought me, but he got me this ring from um, Shop Dixie, which is this gorgeous online jewellery shop. If you haven't seen it, go and have a look. They do an, the most amazing selection of midi rings. Um, but he got me this midi ring that I've been wanting for ages. I think it's called the Show Me The Way midi ring, but it's like a little, um, a little bow and arrow. And it's adorable. And again, it's not like really expensive, but it's one of those presents that is so thoughtful because I, again, I said I really like this ages ago. Um, and he remembered, so I love that. Last but not least was my main present um, from him. He left it right till the end. I was absolutely thrilled with everything I got already. We set a budget this year, so we didn't go crazy um, with presents, because I'm a little bit naughty for it as well. I'll, I'll buy things and then I'll think, oh, that's good, I'll buy that as well, and then I'll buy that as well. But um, having a budget, I think, just keeps things sensible. Um, but he's kind of just trodden all over that, stamped all over it, thrown it out the window, um, just completely disregarded the budget whatsoever, which I'm still annoyed at um, but not too annoyed because the presents are awesome um, but he left this till last and it was a Wonka bar of chocolate and I was a little bit confused as to why this was in a special bag all on its own and saved till last until he followed it up with a card that contained two tickets to go and see Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the musical um, which I cannot wait to go and see I'm a huge musical fan and we were watching the sound of musicals that was on channel 4 and the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory musical was featured on there and I was just absolutely glued to it and we sat watching it together I was like oh my god this looks amazing we have to go and um, so we bought two tickets to go and see that next year so I, I can't I just can't wait it's gonna be amazing so I have been absolutely 100% spoiled to death this Christmas and I love every single present that I got I really love giving presents as well and um, everybody that I got presents for seemed to really like what I got them so it was kind of like a really happy Christmas all round so yeah let me know what you got for Christmas, let me know your best Christmas present, leave it in the comment box below um, and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed a haul, Christmassy Santa stocking haul um, but I will probably be seeing you in the new year um, for more YouTube fun so don't forget um, I am doing the photo a day challenge in January on Instagram or on Twitter I will leave a link below to the video where you can go and watch um, go and watch me talk about that and tell you everything that you need to know about the challenge itself. Three people will win £20 worth of ASOS vouchers, so it's well worth doing and it will give you something to do in the new year. Um, but apart from that, I hope you all have a wonderful new year. I'll see you next year. Bye! Question two, coffee, tea or hot chocolate? Well, I absolutely love tea. I'm a tea fiend. Um, I'm true British person when it comes to tea. I can always drink a cup of tea and on Christmas morning I will have a cup of tea while I'm opening my Christmas presents but I have to say for autumn winter I'm a coffee girl.